Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Jump. I hope you're all well. Today I've got a very exciting story to share with you all. It's called Nature Trail. Mm, I wonder what this story is going to be about. Does anybody have a clue? Would you like to join me in this adventure with Peppa Pig? And let's see what this story is all about. Peppa and her family are going on a nature trail. Mummy Pig asked Daddy Pig not to forget the picnic. As if I would, laughs Daddy Pig. Where is the picnic? It's over here. <gasps> Do you think Daddy Pig's going to forget it? Let's have a look and see. They head off along the trail with their map. Oh dear, Daddy Pig has left the picnic in the car. Oh no. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig ask Peppa if she can see anything interesting in the forest. I don't see anything but boring trees, says Peppa. Then she looks really hard and finds some footprints on the ground. Can you see the footprints on the ground? I wonder who's these footprints? Let's follow the footprints and see who made them, says Mummy Pig. Does anybody know who made those footprints? We will have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Shh! To be very Pepper and George follow the footprints along the ground. It looks like they were made by a little bird, says Mummy Pig. Hmm, if you look closer, that is true. Does it look like a bird? Soon they came to the end of the footprints. The bird has flown up into that tree, smiles Daddy Pig. Can you see the bird? Mm, can you point to it? Where is it? I can't see it. Maybe up there somewhere? Let's have a look. Where? asked Peppa. Daddy Pig gives Peppa binoculars to help her see the bird. Has anybody ever used a binocular before? Ooh, look just like this. The binoculars make everything look bigger. Peppa can see one, two, three baby birds. Should we count together as well? Be ready? One, two, three. And that's mummy bird. What she got in her mouth? It's a worm. You're right. Chirp, chirp. They're eating worms, says Peppa. That's disgusting. Mm. It's mine. George finds some more footprints. They are very little. Daddy Pig says they belong to ants collecting leaves to eat. Mm, can you see the little, little footprints? Do you think they're ants' footprints? Let's have a look. Look over here. Munch, munch. That's correct. Daddy Pig's right and Peppa Pig using her binoculars to have a close up. I think it's time for lunch, says Mummy Pig. But Daddy Pig has left the picnic oh. in the car. Oh dear, what are they going to eat now? My map is wrong, begins Daddy Pig. We'll have to follow our own footprints back to the car. Oh no. Suddenly it starts to rain. It washes everyone's footprints away. Ah! How are we going to find the car now? asks Mummy Pig. Quack, quack, quack. There's some ducks over here. Do you think they're going to help? Ducks love picnics, says Peppa. Mrs. Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? The ducks lead Peppa and her family back to their car. We're here! Ah. Thank you for your help, Mrs. Duck, cries Peppa. Oh, look, the ducks are so clever. They helped them get back to the car and they found the pig. That walking must make them very hungry. I love picnics, laughs Daddy Pig. The ducks love the picnics too. Quack, quack, quack. So do the birds. And so do the ants. Munch, munch. Everybody loves picnics, cries Peppa. Everyone's having a lovely time eating their picnic. The birds, the ants, and the ducks. Oh, and Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, George, and Peppa. Yummy, yummy. That's making me a little bit hungry. Looking at the footprints. 
Aw, that was a lovely story. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story with me and be back for some more stories. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Kids John, and I will see you back soon. Take care. Bye.